Hello everyone and welcome back to, well, part two of this scenario. And we are in a very dire situation right now, that is the water generation. So in that case here, we do have these animal farms that are affecting it quite negatively um, for the work cloth to come in. Now the work cloth is only going to be important for the obreros then. If I turn it Good off, time, will the pollution go away? Let's try this one out. It's going away. Right, so it, this is down now. Minus 10. Need us. Okay. And the cattle farm is now active. Yes. Turning it off actually has a positive effect there. So we can keep them off for now. We're also clearing more of these ruins here right now. And our main goal is still to reach the obreros. And this is something where we only need the tools now. And I should probably go for them right now. So there we have now our iron mine. Let's go ahead with it. Then we have another lumberjack hut over here. And then we have the tool factory. Another new building. You and this one is working now. Boat. Is this affecting? It's not affecting anything too badly here, right? The soil quality is going up right now. Very good. And the water quality is still about those ruins. So we are clearing a lot of them at this very moment. There is also something here. But this one here, the jail, costs me 300. We don't have that. Well, uh, air quality is fine for now. This one is clearing. There is another one. 150 obreros. Uh, honolers. We cannot afford that so quickly. Uh, we could afford it soon. Uh, polluting ruins. Let's remove them. There you go. Thank you for the timber. Very much appreciated. This is at least doing something. We're down at 24. I will probably need to turn off my animal farms there. Not entirely sure. We do have the Honolulu's workforce in though, and we can now remove this ruin here. So let's go ahead and do this one on top of it. <laughs> this is really tight. At least the soil is going up now. The next ruin over here, let's remove it. Come on, we can still do this. Our people are falling sick from the drinking water. I thought it tasted strange. These are all working now. We have the Honolulu's workforce. Let's also get rid of the jail there. But that's 20 minutes. We lose 300 Honolulu's workforce for 20 minutes. That is steep. Let's do this. <laughs> because we have them, after all. And we also get a new decision. Our people's drinking water is unclean and inadequately filtered. Who knows what illness they might contract from it. Let's just see. All right, we will encourage the people to only consume processed drinks. We will provide a constant supply of antibiotics. I'm sure we'll develop a natural immunity. No, I think rather here we have the negative effect that sugarcane in a toll is plus 20% consumption, but the chance of illness is reduced by 10%. And here we have that the hospital costs 20% more, uh, but also minus 10% uh, for chance of illness. And here there is a chance of illness of 25% increased. Let's go with this one. We don't have a hospital at the moment and we really don't care about money at this point as the balance is looking fantastic so the chance of illness is actually pretty reduced at this point and as we can see the tools is actually in do we produce enough tools yes we are so we should be actually going for obreros now soon let's send the flagship out there to also explore a bit the surrounding area and i see there's also a new quest popping up we have detected high levels of mercury in the seawater. We need to make sure the aquatic life is unharmed. Can you check up on the dolphins? All right, dolphins. I'm going to check up on them soon. Come on. Give me the 100% here. I want to have my obreros. not getting to the 100% there. Where's the dolphins? There they are. Oh, it's a pickup quest. There, I need to click him. There it is. And we also cleared the next ruin. These two here. Perfect. Oh, this feels good. Outchoke, steel beams. Far away from the village where and the water quality is still dropping hard. I don't have anything for water anymore. Uh, is there any other ruin, please? For water, please give me something. Unfortunately, there isn't. All right. 
next problem over here right away. No trees in range. So if we want to continue using the lumberjack huts, we do need a forester hut. And for that, we do need a certain blueprint. Without it, we cannot do that. All right. Workload is going down now. I will... This is soil quality, right? Oh, crap. Let's get a silo. And for that, we do need the corn farm. Let's have the corn farm right next to the plantain farm. So the monoculture negative effect should not be activated. And with the corn... Oh, as we can see, this is a polyculture effect now. Placing them together is a positive effect. And with this, we produce now corn. And I can use this to build a silo that I'm going to do over here. And this silo should be getting the corn and is then boosting the productivity by 100% for the cattle. So I don't need this cattle farm there for quite some time. And I think it's still polluting a bit. No, it's not. Perfect. While they're paused, they're not polluting anything. So we can keep them like that. Uh, we are down on the water quality by minus 8. At least that is something here. All right. So there is some positive things happening here. The ruin is still being removed as we speak. The alpaca farms, they're still doing it. And then there's also the jail that we are removing as well. So once those two are removed, we should be golden on our mission there. So the workload, it's all about that for now. And for that, we do need another silo. Probably over there. This one. Or I'm activating this one here. And this is soil quality. No, it's the water quality. Ah, uh, but minus 10, that is too much. I cannot afford another alpaca farm. Uh, what we're going to do is here, I'm removing them and I'm building the silo instead. It makes more sense. And this should make the second workload manufacturer working then as well. And I hope that one corn plantation is enough. We could, however, wait a second, have the other corn plantation right here. There's no trees here anymore anyway. We can build it there. This one is getting down the last trees. So just for your information, lumberjack huts, they don't work anymore like previously. Now, every tree that is chopped down is gone, right? So it looks like this as after some time. They are gone now. They are no longer working for me. That means no more timber coming in here from these guys. And every tree that we rem rem remo remove here, uh, we do lose soil quality. So I need to be very careful. We do have the Forester Hut special item there. But this one costs a lot. There we have it, the Forester Seed Collection. And this one costs me 10 ceramics, I think, and 10 tools and 4 of these um, blueprints that we get from missions. Really expensive. Um, until then, I will not be able to build any more Lumberjack Huts. Water! Holy cow, why? Cattle farm, minus 19. Alright, the silo is increasing the pollution. Is this for real? Why is it doing that? Didn't say that in the tooltip. Gee, we have minus 20 pollution from one cattle farm. That is insane. Can I get obreros now done, please? No, we still can't do that. Oh god, at least another ruin is cleared. Perfect. So that's at least a bit. We do get some timber there. We are now at minus 11 for the water. So if I get rid of the silo, we could... We could go back to the original pollution one. The workload is still not going up. What is going on? Give me that workload. We have the water purifier. <laughs> we do need a water purifier blueprint for that. Water quality impact is plus 30 with that. And that is the only item that I see right now here that would do something. Where is it? How much does it cost us? And of course, it's a legendary item. And of course, it costs us insane amounts. And soon the fishes will die, I think. Yeah, I need to do something here. Sorry, I need to stop my animal farm right now. Both of them. Gee, that was close. Because the next threshold actually means algae bloom risk. Um, and with that, we lose all the fishes. And the animal farms go down by minus 50%. I cannot do that. I do have a lot of workforce though. So I might go ahead and get rid of some more ruins. 
for the soil quality there. 300, all right. This one is still nine minutes. And that's about it as far as I can see. And we get the next decision. Nutrient imbalance. The soil is developing very high levels of nitrates, which are subsequently filtering into the water supply unless we do something. We must allow, allow the soil to rest. Productivity for all our uh, crop farms is reduced for 10 minutes. And we'll lay mulch over the fields. Minus 10 timber. That sounds mulch. good. That we can work. afford that. But we'll need to source the wood for it. And at least the water is going up again. By the way, we are having this time limit here, right? I don't think we are reaching gold in our very first try. Alright, let's invest in our first item here. So we can do this with 10 fish. We should have the 10 fish available. Please tell me. There it is. And then we do need two of these herbariums, uh, as they're being called. Two of them. There you go. And with that, we can purchase this waste treatment tank. Animal farms equal quality impact is minus 30% and the number of modules is increased by 25%. Let's get this one going. There you go. Waste treatment. We can craft it. A little ancient knowledge. A bit of imagination. And there we have it. And it was actually only one that it cost us. I guess that's going to be fine. Let's get this one to my animal farms. And here we do need a trade union. That is preferably affecting all of these animal farms then, right? So let's just see how we can squeeze it in. This one should be the right one because it's affecting all the existing ones. And we can build it right away. There you go, trade union. And there's the item. And let's just see what happens. Let's activate the cattle farm. The pollution goes up again. We survive. We do have, by the way, 12 tons of work clothes. So I'm also going to activate my work clothes. And now we have a minus 10 on the water. I'm activating that item. Yes, it's going down. Perfect. So minus 8 it is now. It should actually be at minus 7, I think, rather. Um, and also we do get one additional field that we can use now for this animal farm. Right? So we are not only boosting the productivity of this one here. We are also... Reducing its impact. Oh, I see. The field does add the pollution though again. Let's get rid of the field. And then the pollution should be going down again. Some... Ow. Let's activate the alpaca farm. And there is also now a reduced pollution. Alright. I think we can juggle it around with that. What other item do we have for the fishery as well? Fishery. Equal quality impact minus 20%, but their productivity is also um, down. All right. <laughs> we are now at exactly zero for the water. That is very close. And bear in mind, we should be clearing more ruins here then soon. There is another ruin here somewhere. Three minutes. And then we get a bit more water quality in again. Soil has once again uh, well pushed through the threshold, the upper one here. So we are in a very good region there. Water is negative right now, but we should be positive again with the far, uh, with the, the ruin that is going away there soon. By the way, this time though, we have 100% workload now. This should really be coming in. Another thing, let's start the brick production because we're only at nine bricks. Let's build the clay pit and our first brick factory. And the brick what? factory is reducing now the air quality. So this one will probably get negative now once the brick factory starts working. But it's at a very high level. So this should be fine for us. And there we have it. Honoleros are completely maxed out. And thus we can finally, finally upgrade them. And let's get the first Obreros. We will help you build something better. Alright. Major milestone. <laughs> Insane. Let's get a few of them going. Not too many, though. Let's be very careful with how many we want to upgrade. Dun, dun, dun. And the electric cable is now available as well. So, Breros, there we have it. A whole new bunch of new productions. Plus, the town hall is also now possible. This might be very interesting, then, for more items. And steel we can now produce together with tortillas.
We see algae in the ocean. That is such a nice detail, right? Because of our low water quality right now. The pollution in the water significantly changes or goes up there. Oh, this is going to be very nice for us. Perforian Jail. Let's remove this one. There's also some bricks and some steel. And with that, we are now finally positive on the water, even though we have the cattle farms and alpaca farms running. So that at least is something here. And they're also having the silo activated. Yes. The silos are also activated, so we don't need any more farms than these for quite some time, I think. Very good. This is working out. And next quest we have right away, with the settlement constructed and the first workers accommodated, it's time to begin building the dam, phase one out of three. And that is over here. This is our major goal right now, the dam. And the dam does require timber, bricks and tools and 600 honoleros. Goodness. 60 tons of timber. For that I do need more timber production. Unfortunately, as we know, it's re removing trees, right? So we need to be very careful about them. Let's have two more here. And have two sawmills then for this area. Alright, so that's a bit um, of a reduction of trees there once more. But I do need the timber. Oh god, what now? Sick animals. The entire food chain is suffering from the poor water quality. Animals are growing sick and dying at unusually high rates. We'll use more animals per farm to compensate. We'll have more important problems than a few sick animals. We must clean the water supply. Who would that? Build what? Two water purifiers. It's impossible. Uh, what do we need for the water purifier? That's the only thing here. Ten. We do need ten coffee pots for each one of these. That was a big mistake there, I think. Choosing that option. Because we will not be able to do this. Not on time. And not with sacrificing a lot of pollution. Water is going up anyway. Right? So it's getting a bit better there. I need to expand my Honolulu's production or my Honolulu's population there a tiny bit. Because we need them for the dam. So let's go ahead and build this a few more. However, we need to be very careful as usual here with our consumption rates, right? The fish is already suffering a bit. Those two will be fine. Um, but the fish will be a problem. For the dam, we do need the tools. We do need the timber that is coming in now. We do need the bricks that is also coming in now with the brick factory. However, once I start this project there, these resources will be depleted. So we need to make sure that we can actually do something in the meantime. One of them would be another bridge that I would like to have here to the other side, the 20 tons of timber, because we do need the coal and the copper deposits that we have there. Plus we have a lot of space really here with the oil. And the other thing is that we can do now too is re removing the air quality ruins, right? Because air quality is going down now. And I should be looking out for getting rid of these. That's 300 each. I think there was another one here. 150, we can afford that. Let's get rid of both of these ruins. And we really should be cracking with the dam project soon, though. 600 Honoleros is insane. Timber production is up. Oh! There was a special plant here now. And I think we just got some special item there. Oh, herbarium we got, right? This special resource there, we can use this one for more transmutes. And we probably should be doing that. Water purifier quality, plus 20%. All right, we do need more fish since fish is a, a kind of like currency for getting us more items. Over here, we have more of these deposits. Right, for the fish. Let's just go ahead and try to squeeze them in like that. Yeah, we cannot get this one. It's only this one. Three of them. There you go. Let's build the fishery. It's another water pollution though that we're adding with that. Right. And what I can do though is I can get 10 fish. tons of fish. That we get there. Plus our special resource, the herbarium. 
Let's get this over there and get us an item that reduces the pollution caused by those fisheries with the trade union. That is something. So it will only affect one. And the water quality, of course, is more polluted the more shoals we are actually fishing up there. New orders, so this might be something. And there it is. The fishery. Eco quality impact is minus 20%, but the productivity is also going down for this single one. But it's still going to help us out there a bit for the, the water quality. Let's craft this item. There you go. Thank you very much, Isabel. By the way, do you have a quest for me? Yes, she's got a quest for me, the researchers. We are keen to test the effects of our environmental regulations in a real-world trial. Could you enact these at your settlement? You honor us again. Equip in a trade union the basic agricultural textbook. And I guess that costs 10 corn and the advanced fertilizer, 10 corn. How much corn do we have? 29 you tons. How very nice. We can do this. All right, there we can go ahead. The advanced fertilizer, so number of modules is reduced, but also the eco balance penalty. And then we have the basic agricultural textbook. Um, eco balance impact is a bit higher, but for 20% additional ones. So in that case, we can go with that. There you go. We just need to equip it for the quest. Very nice. The next barracks have been finished so we can remove them there's a bit of bricks here that we wave we have 400 honolers with that um there is now one more ruin here there's three minutes on that and there is three minutes on that i would like to start though with the dam now let's go ahead and do this one it will cost us though quite a lot of honolers right and for my tools production i can actually go ahead and build the second tools factory here since we do have enough of the basic materials for it even though this one is running out of uh, logs there now too. Or of timber. I'm going to need another one. Over there. Still is another one. I need to pause this one after all. Because we don't have the workforce. Yeah, I really need to wait for these ruins now. The Meantime, we can use these items. We have the advanced fertilizer and we have the textbook. The there you go. Valero. To herbarium we get out of that one here. And for the fishery... Ah, water quality is fine. It's regenerating. It's really all about the air quality right now that is a problem. And that's the smoking perforian ruins. I don't know, but these levels are going up and up and up. And I don't have enough for all of that. The next ruin has been cleared over here. We do get some coal out of that and power cables. And this should also be finished now. There you go. Let's remove this one. And we do get some coal and power cables on top of that. And we have now the workforce. We can now start with the first phase of our dam project. This one needs timber, bricks and tools. And it probably will need a warehouse in range. And for that, unfortunately, we do need another bridge. Which means more timber. There you go. And now they should be getting their resources. There they are. That's this one. And also, the remaining ones we could use now for more productions. Because I'm pretty sure we're going to need more. Especially the tools. Even though both of them are working. Two. One. One. That is fine. Two we will need for the dam. Alright, there it goes. Going to be interesting how this dam is looking when it's finished. For now though, we are getting now all the materials over there. And the construction of the first phase has started in the dam. And we are ba barely holding on to life here. My air is going down. We have still 200 um, funnel levels left, so I might be going for another ruin if I could. And I think I can't, because both of them here require 300 each. And that is something we don't have right now. Alright, so far so good. The dam project is building now, and we need to wait a bit of m a few minutes here, and then we'll continue. Stay tuned. <laughs> 